Hey there, so today we have another review and this is Stone's Wood Stout. So I uh, recently did Chocobesa with you and this is one of the beers that sort of was a collaboration that uh, when I was uh, getting into craft beer was one of the new exciting new releases and I think this one first came out, uh, I don't know if they put it on the can, they say over the years, but I think it was like maybe like 2014. So what is Wood Stout? So this is a collaboration uh, between, uh, it doesn't really count as Greg Koch, as, uh, Greg Koch. Anyway, uh, the uh, co-founder of uh, Stone Brewing, because he's actually Stone. Uh, but it really is with Drew Curtis and Will Wheaton, who are, who are a couple nerds. And what they decided to make, they made, decided to make a huge Imperial Stout. It used to be in Bombers. Now it's in cans. And it's changed in ABB. ABV. It used to be 13%. But still the same beer. So this, the beer is a stout brewed with pecans, wheat, rye. And then a quarter of it is aged in bourbon barrels. So they age uh, the beer out and they blend it down. Out of oh, the beer like I'm very it. curious what it would taste like with just that. So they should probably, I don't know if they ever released that, but they should probably let people taste like what it tastes like um, out of just only barrel aged version. But they also got a really cool artist, uh, I guess Alan Davis, who used to do X Men and Justice League. And that's an awesome, awesome label. I mean, that is just, uh, what is that? It's like eight, 70s, 80s, no, no, like 80s, 90s. Uh, 90s, I think, um, kind of uh, comic book art. It really is a cool, cool, cool kind of vibe to it. So I really like the art on that one. And now it's in cans. So this one is 11.5%. Uh, it used to be 13. Uh, I have this warmed up a little bit. It's been quite a while since I've had this, so. How do you warm it up? You just let it sit out. So uh, the beer comes in a deep brown, two black color. has a uh, pretty uh, medium plus uh, brown head. Mm. Oh, the aroma? Wow. So I don't remember the beer smelling like this. Like this. Mm, that smells really good. This is super desserty. Like it's um, it's very like it's got, it's very heavy on aroma. Yeah. yeah. Very sweet, but like in a pleasant way, not in like a sickening yeah. way. So it's almost as if the beer was almost completely barrel aged. It has a lot of that kind of classic barrel aged character to it. Yeah. His bourbon sweetness, his vanilla, uh, some of that coconuts, and just. I think I do kind of pick up on like some pecan pie type aroma, you know, mm -hmm. like. But it's sweet. It's vanilla y There's some yeah. coconut driving in there. There's that kind of uh, roasty chocolate sweetness. Mm -hmm. it smells awesome. Almost coffee like. Yeah, it smells like a little bit of sweetness in there. Some bitter, hot bitterness. I think probably detect molasses, there. brown sugar type thing. Actually, probably on. wouldn't smell the hot bitterness. Probably the bitterness would be coming from um, on the palate. Wow, it's boozy too. Yeah, smell it. Smell a little of the alcohol. So, on the palate, uh, not the biggest beer for 11.5%. It's actually uh, pretty just like, I wouldn't say watery, just like neutrally kind of uh, a mouthfeel. So, it's a medium plus, you know, medium to medium plus mouthfeel. There's a nice smack of uh, alcohol in the back end. Yeah. A little bit of that bourbon taste to it. There's also a little bit of nuttiness. On the website, they recommend um, the flavor of almonds. I can sort of see that. Even though these pecans, the nuttiness is like almonds. Yeah, I get more like pecans, walnuts. Um, definitely, when I tasted it, I got like almost like a premonition of how it is hot, toasty though. I could get off of this beer. Mm -hmm. Like I, I was almost like, oh yeah, this could really, this could really get me intoxicated. Yeah, um, it is. Pretty boozy for like yeah. I feel the aroma like didn't lead it to be as boozy as it yeah. truly is. Um, but it's like not like a drying booziness. It's it's actually just just like heavy like yeah. like booziness. I don't know. So um, what else I have to say about it? It's good. It's definitely a dessert. Yeah, it's a little sweet, uh, which is quite nice. I guess that's the barrel life character. Kind of um, got like dark roasted coffee. Yeah, it also. It's not super, super bitter and intensely roasty. Uh, roasty. It has a kind of medium plus quality to it. It honestly almost tastes like a boozy bla uh, Baltic porter. It is supported a lot by the alcohol in the back end. A little bit of kind of like nuttiness uh, driving in. A little bit of that vanilla barrel age character. Mm -hmm. I think you smell it more than you taste it. There, there's still some amount of barrel age character to the beer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you definitely get like the, 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 the woody barrel aged... Mm -hmm. And then there's an irony to this beer because I, I, I called out something like a clean Baltic porter, but then they mentioned up front in it, you know, this is all power suggestion, but they mentioned that there's a good amount of fruity esters to it. And it has a little bit of like fruity ripe apple thing coming to it. There is an ester profile, which ends up reminding you of tropical stouts. So tropical stouts are something like dragon stout, uh, lion stout. So there is a kind of like not super imperial American robust uh, imperial uh, stout quality to it. 
But then there's a little bit of that fruitiness of like something you get from a tropical style. It plays all kinds of games. It's battle aged stout. It's tropical stout. It's American Imperial Stout. It's Baltic Porter. It just plays all in that game. I like that. I really like the the dark chocolate like fudginess to it. Mm-hmm. Like it's just so thick that it reminds me of dark chocolate. Like it's not that mouth coating. Like, I, I guess it's, it's heavy be... flavor, but it's not like like chewy and like no 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 no. I just mean like sweet. I just mean like the 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 flavor of it reminds me of like dark chocolate yeah. fudge a little bit of or like dark in. chocolate brownie like fudgy brownies. Yeah. Like, it's definitely a dessert. Like, I don't think I could sit here and comfortably drink a whole can of this to myself. I think this is a really great shareable beer, in my opinion. Um, I do love dessert beers. Definitely one of my favorites. Um, the crazy thing is, there's a lot of impression of sweetness without actually being stickily cloying. And cloying can be good, you know. Sometimes you want dessert stuff to have a sticky sweetness yeah. to it. It has a little bit of, like, burnt marshmallow note to it. It's quite complex. It's, yeah, it's going just, all of us. It's just really thick. In my opinion. In flavor. I don't think it's thick. It, like, no, no, no. no. Yeah, in flavor. Sugary? Yeah. I mean, in flavor, it's yeah. just really thick. It's yeah, like really heavy. It's like, it, it, it actually it's clean, yeah. has actually a good amount of the alcohol and doesn't uh, yeah. taste like, uh, you know, I I personally would have probably guessed that this was a boozy 9.5% beer. 11.5 mm-hmm. is actually quite uh, thin for that. Yeah. A little bit thin. A little bit thin. Let's go This that. is making me feel really warm. Yeah. So let's go. What's your final impression of rating on this one? First time trying it, by the way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, don't get me wrong. When I say that I would I would not be able to enjoy an entire can of this to myself, it's not because the beer is not something I enjoy. Um, it is very good. It's yeah. just that there is a lot of flavor there for me. Wow, yeah, crazy. yeah. So, but um, overall, I really, really enjoy this one. Um, you know, I'm I'm a big fan of of stouts and porters. That was my initial uh, my initial, I think. Uh, when I first started drinking craft beer, that was what I originally got into was, was stout and be- uh, stouts and porters. So, I mean, there is some kind of nostalgic uh, appreciation for this. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead. I'm going to give this actually a pretty pretty high rating, I mm-hmm. think. And, and I don't want to wake the baby. So we're going to quietly ring the bell. I'm going to say 96. Um, I said should probably a little loud because we actually put <laughs> the bell right I by, know, the, sorry. by the mic. No, you're good. Um, for me, maybe somewhere around that. Uh, I will say that this beer uh, has probably changed a little bit. My impression of the beer has probably changed. Or the, I think the beer probably itself has changed uh, with time. Uh, this is more... I don't remember this beer be, This beer being so complex. No, I can speak English, Sean. Uh, it's quite complex. A lot of things going on. I think it's a fun, fun beer. Um, this is good. This really is good. I tend to agree with Katie. This is more of that kind of like... Eight ounce beer, maybe twelve ounces at most. Maybe a flight beer, like definitely not something. Yeah. I'm just eleven point five percent. You'd be. <laughs> You're not gonna to, sit here and to drink, drink a, a pint a, of a it or something. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I think it has like wonderful, uh, fun flavors going on. It's actually quite a very good beer. It's um, I'm gonna get pretty close to that rating. Um, this has a little bit of novelty to, to it because it has pecans and wheat and rye, this and that. Uh, but really, what it has is that it has a gamut of flavors. Uh, going on right it has like again i, I, I will, re- will reiterate it has bourbon barrel aged stout quality to it american pearl stout quality to it it has tropical stout to it it has baltic porter quality to it it just dances all over and and to ha- find something so unique and different is actually quite rare and the fact that this is in i guess six packs or four packs or whatever they sell it in um it's quite crazy and the fact that um it's more accessible now and uh they they've kept doing this uh collaboration and it just tastes great so uh this probably is the best version i've ever had of it uh, 95 95 i i'd recommend it if you guys are turned off by Woodstock, try out this one see what you think let me know post the cops below cheers later